Okay, so welcome back. So now we're going to do some more examples, and so we're going to get things a little complicated with uh, using compound units. But again, as long as you keep things organized and remember the unit dimensional analysis, to analyzing the units to make sure that they cancel and that you end up with the units that you want at the end, you're good. So let's get started. So we're going to read it and then we'll do it. So here it says, a car travels 75 miles at a constant rate of 1.5 hours, in 1.5 hours. So, so again, we have a car that's traveling at a constant rate, and it goes 75 miles in 1.5 hours, and uh, we want to know what the rate is, okay? So we want miles per hour. Well, that's easy, right? We want to know at what rate it's traveling. Well. We know that it's traveling, uh, how many? It's uh, 75, yeah, 75 miles. It traveled 75 miles in 1.5 hours, right? So then all we have to do is we want the rate, so rate is distance per unit time. The per means division. So that means we're just going to do 75 miles per 1.5 hours. And so what does that give us? Well, we just divide, right? So 75 divided by um, 1.5 gives us 50. So this is going to be 50, right? So 75 divided by 1.5. So in fact, let's do an intermediate step just because we've done this before. So we could split this up, right? We could the numbers and the units separate. So this would be the same as 75 divided by 1.5. And over here, we would have miles per hour. Well, this translates, this is 50, and then this just becomes miles per hour. And we're done. That's it. Have a great day.